What's going on, YouTube? I know I should have shot the video after they ate, after all these particles and stuff stopped floating in the tank, but I just had to shoot an update video for you guys because I haven't shot an update for you guys in a minute. So they just got finished eating. I'm about to get ready to do a water change for these guys. I just, I don't know if y'all can see. Let me see if I can see this camera. You see these big old craters that didn't dug. Like, them dudes really been digging. Like, for real, they really, really been digging. And I want to tell y'all guys, man, I truly, truly... Blessed I am in the midst of what's going on in my life. Man, God has been so good to me, man. I still have my attacks every once in a while, but I haven't taken pain medicine in a week and some days. I haven't taken any pain medicine. All I've been doing is meditating and focusing on God's word. I wonder who attacked my yellow banger just now. And normally when somebody hit him, I run after him, he start going after that uh, gravel. Now it's time to do a water change. Something going on. For real. Because he ain't the only one did it. But I ain't been seeing no signs of nothing. Everybody been doing good. Yeah, it's time to do a water change. I'm about to do a serious water change. Thought about scrubbing down the background. I don't know. Background look pretty fine to me. I don't think I'm gonna scrub the background down. I'm just gonna do a water change, clean the glass so put the uh sand back to the way it's supposed to be. Need to give me some more uh rock so I can cover up with even making these craters and stuff making it look all crazy but man like I was saying God has truly been good to me man he's truly truly been good to me I've been able to uh, get out and about my old band director came in from uh, Oklahoma to the radio that's so I went and kicked it at the reggae fest for him, with him. And we kicked it for the last couple of days. We watched our Saints get their first win of the season yesterday. So, man, I've been doing my five miles, sometimes four, sometimes three. You know, it depends how my body feeling. And the park, man, God, man. I keep telling y'all, man, and it's not like I'm trying to push God on you guys or Jesus on you guys, but if you don't believe, man, I'm a true testimony, dude. Like, I couldn't walk. If, if I don't know if y'all can really understand that, some of you guys that's on my channel, I couldn't walk. I couldn't move. I couldn't do nothing right. I couldn't do anything at all, man. I couldn't feed myself. And I'm doing all these things, man. I couldn't drive. I couldn't do anything. But I know God has been so good to me, man. So, so good to me. And, and I just appreciate it. I know my voice sounds kind of raspy. Guess because I ain't been talking. And I've been out in the, in the weather all this week, but... Man, he, he's awesome. He is truly awesome, man. He's the all healing mighty God. You, you guys got to understand that, man. He's the all true and healing mighty God, man. He's been so good to me. I'm going to be able to do the things that I've done and be in the position that I'm in. Knowing that a couple of months ago, I couldn't walk. Man, he, he's almighty and, and awesome. 
in all his ways, man. He deserves all the glory. And I give him all the glory, honor, and praise. You know, I know some of you guys thumb down my videos when I talk about God, but he's real in my eyesight. I don't know what he's done for you, but I know he's done a lot for me. You know, I still got a roof over my head, still got food on my table, still able to provide for my family. You know, he's awesome, wonderful God. So I just wanted to share that quick testimony with you guys, man. For me, for me to be able to walk five miles and wasn't able to walk a block, wasn't even able to get up off the sofa, wasn't even able to brush my teeth or do anything, man. To be able to do these things now, man, God is awesome, man. He's awesome. I mean, I know we all have our hardships. We all go through our trials and tribulations in life, but man, that's a part of life, man. Life is not easy. You know, especially when you're father in Christ, it's not easy at all. But people that don't even follow Christ have hardships and, and turmoil in their life. You know, so, and I, I just believe and I know that he's a healer. He's a healer and he's my almighty. He's the reason why I live. It's the reason why I get up each and every day and I'm able to do the things that I do. After I do this water change, man, I'm going to do my couple of miles in the park. After I do my couple of miles in the park, I'm going to lay up there and go get my car inspection done and do what I got to do. I mean, I can't do no serious labor like I used to, but I'm able to move around, you know, and, and that's just the blessing of it all. You know, I'm able to move around, I'm able to be mobile. You know, I, I can't do much, but I'm doing better than I was. You know what I'm saying? Because there's someone that can't walk at all. There's someone that can't move at all. There's someone that can't feed themselves. There's someone that don't have a roof over their head. But I know God has a plan for each and every one of us, man, regardless to what we may go through or what may go on in our lives, he has a plan for us. We just got to stay prayed up and ask him what do we, do we want to do with us, you know? Stay positive in all your ways, man. Each and every one of y'all. Stay positive in all your ways, man. And I appreciate you guys for staying tuned. I appreciate you guys for subscribing. And to my new subscribers and to the people that I talk to that have the same disease that I have, man, God is awesome, man. I'm telling you, if he can do it for me, he going to do it for you guys too, man. I don't know if you guys been reading some of my comments, man, but they got a couple of people that have the same exact disease that I have, man. And it make me all cry, man. They got one lady... She was like, man, I haven't walked. I think it was like a year or two. And she was like, how long it took you to start walking again? And I was like, man, I didn't stay paralyzed in my legs long. But she haven't walked in like two years, man. And God healed me fast. Just keep on believing, sister. Keep on trusting. You will walk again. You'll be able to stand. And preach it and tell your testimony to the world like I do. That's why I do my videos like I do now. Because I want to tell the world about what God's done for me. He's been so good to me, man. He's been so, so good to me. He's been so good to me. I love you guys, man. I appreciate you guys. Without you guys, man, 
There will be no Luke 9 through 9 for me. And that's just keeping it real. There will be no me without you. You guys help keep me with this tank, man. I wanted to give up on this tank a long time ago because I was going through some real hardship. Some real, some real, real hardship, man. Being in pain the way I was. You know? I wanted to like, man, you know what? I just want to sell this tank, man. Anybody want to buy it, I was going to let it go. But you guys kept me going, man. You guys kept me going, kept me motivated. And I appreciate you guys, man. I just got finished looking at KG Tropical's uh, video on... Uh, Parasites and stuff, man. I came. That's what made me turn my light on my tank and, and just look at the fish. I was like, man, let me see. I got in sunken belly. See how everybody color is doing. How everybody's doing. Everybody's doing fine, man. From what I see, you know, I still got a couple of fish that's not getting as big as everybody else. And like when I first got them, they had all the color in the world, so. I don't know if they're females or just because these some of the guys are real, real dominant over the tank. But as you see, my uh, my herd has gotten a little slimmer. I took the Limpstone eye out. He was picking on my um my homeboy too much every day. He was picking with my homeboy, man. My uh, Google Chrome. You see, I'm swimming across the screen. At the top, he was messing with my homie, man. That's like, even though my uh, Tanzania is my favorite, but my Buku Chromas, man, I love that guy, man. That guy is becoming a champion, man. He's becoming a champion. But I'm gonna get in here and do a water change. Well, you can see how clear the water then got from the first beginning of the video. If any of you guys stuck around to watch, it's cleared up a lot. I've just been ripping and running, man. Trying to get my health together and get things together for my family. So I've been on the move, but they've been eating and everything. Uh, I noticed they've been picking on each other a lot. Cause like when the lights come on, I'm like, I'm not at home when the lights been coming on. So I see some of their fans nipped up and so they've been fighting over who going to be the boss of the tank. I've noticed that. Like I really think my Tanzania, he going to be the boss of the tank because he the only one don't have any rip fans at all. Like niggas respect him. I ain't mean to say niggas, but the fish respect him. You know, when he come through, everybody move. So I guess he the uh boss it look. I don't know if y'all looked at look at him. He at the top of the tank. When he come through, everybody move, so I don't mind him being a tank boss, because that's like my favorite fish in the tank. He can run the whole tank if he want. I don't care. That's my favorite fish. My Tanzania and my Buku Chromis. And my man Kool-Aid. You know, i never been into OB Peacocks. But if you see on the uh, left-hand side of the screen, my man Kool-Aid. Man, he's a dog. He down there in the left corner. He got like that blue, like them spots in them. They not black, they blue. Like that's beautiful. Like he uh looks almost like a blueberry, but he red. So his spots are like dead on blue, man. I'm talking about beautiful blue. Look at him. He's dead on, man. But like I said, man, I appreciate you guys, man. I'm 
way over time. This is going to be a long video to upload. I'm about to do a water change in this thing, man. Hola.